Hey guys, what if here and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for a special video since it's the all-star race, not points race, so I guess we're gonna see what happens. Uh, paint scheme, I was just looking at that before I recorded just to make sure I'm not repeating the same paint scheme. We're going with the regular rubber made. And uh, yeah, since it's an all-star race, not points race, this is more of a tester just to kind of see how we'll do in the actual 600 miles. So there's really not nothing to look at in terms of points or anything. This is more about all for the glory and ego stroking. And a little bit of luck too, because that last segment's gonna be random. So there's really nothing else to really divulge into. So uh, before we jump into it, thank you to my two two Patreon people as well as my YouTube member support channel, purchase your early access videos like this and other stuff as well as shell emotes when I live stream. Thank you as always. Let's get into it and just see what happens. So since there's no qualifying and it puts us in a random spot, there's really nothing to look at. Uh, default setup with this as always. And yeah, that, there's really nothing much more to say. Let's just have MRN take it away. It's All-Star Night at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. MRN is here to bring you coverage of one of the most exciting races of the season, the NASCAR Winston Cup All-Star Race. With this unique format, we're in for a very interesting race. Yeah, Joe, this race is all about the cash. No points are even awarded here. It's a three-segment race that totals 90 laps. Segment one is 40 laps. The only of the top 20 will move on to segment two, which is 30 laps. Ten more drivers are then eliminated, leaving us with the top 10. The fans have voted, and then we'll find out how many positions will be inverted. It may be the top four, six, eight, or even the entire field of ten. After they sort it out, it's 20 laps to the checkered flag, and boy, what a ride that is. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. Ryan Newman came out of nowhere in 2001 here at Lowe's, starting from the pole in only his second race. Boy, was he fast that weekend. Unfortunately, he found the dip between turn three and four, looped the car early in the race. Still, you knew you were going to have to start watching out for Ryan Newman. All right, I, really no complaints there with that intro. They, I never seen them mention the Ryan Newman thing before, so that that feels like a first, at least to my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, the All Star consists of three segments. In segment one, you must make a four tire green flag pit stop and finish in the top twenty to advance. Segment two, you must finish in the top ten. The field will then be inverted based on a fan vote. The last segment is a 10 car race to the finish. All right. Obviously, as you saw, Newman, Terry Labonte, front row, and I don't know where it's... Oh, it's placing us mid-pack, but we're in the bottom lane, so that's honestly not bad. So, yeah, 10 laps. We'll try to pit around lap 5 or 6, just just for simplicity's sake, since we'll be doing it, like, right around midway through it. Also, the commentators were talking about the field version a bit differently from how, I guess, it was, like, in the final game, which is interesting. That was a very, very wonky-ass start for me. I don't know what I was doing. Oh! Oh, Rusty! Rusty! Oh, problems already! And we dodged a bullet. I was lucky. I was on... I started on the inside line. That was... Wow. All right. Well, that boned a lot of people. And now we're just chilling in nine. Didn't take us too long to catch up to this pack of cars with Harvick and Park. And, yeah. Did a lot of practice with this race just because, oh boy, it's it just, it's tough. It's tough to get around here. You almost go faster. You go, I, I guess for me, I just win the corners a lot faster than what I was anticipating, and I just had to back up, up off the car, back off the corners a lot more. I can't talk. Yeah, those are gonna be nice uh, two spots. Also, our thing with this race being so short, the tire wear is also expedited, so. The tire fall off is more extreme than normal, like a normal 10% race. So it feels like every corner and of every lap, it's it's just going to drive differently. So it, it's going to be almost a new experience every single lap. So I have to be kind of careful with that. So uh, it's really the only race of the season where we have to worry about that just because the laps are so short. But yeah, so far we're doing good. Just P7, 
no complaints, we'll easily move on to the next round for sure. And if we're going to pit early, that might gain us some more spots as well. I'm pitting this lap. The car has gotten pretty nasty. So hopefully this undercut will gain us a couple of spots. Just have to get down there safely. Perfect. Just, yeah, stand forward, tire stop, because that's what they want us to do. And then that's it. 16.1 is the estimated time. 14.9. I think that's the fastest the picker's done all year. And of course, it's in a race where there's no points on the line. It, or, tragically ironic. And now we're just going to wait for this to cycle through and see if we gain any spots. Don't LePage the field. I, I <laughs> almost, I, I mean, I kind of did, but it didn't really affect Rudd. So we're, we're good. Hope someone blew up at a really bad part of the track. Tara Labonte just got absolutely destroyed by Jeff Gordon, his own teammate, leaving pit road. What a mess. Robbie Gordon just blocks me. That's pretty realistic, to be honest, but wow. More people are pitting. Is that Robbie Gordon pitting? Is he? Yeah, he's pitting. All right, then that made the block what he did to me make even less sense than I thought it was going to be initially. Someone's clearly not pitted. They should easily be DNF from now. I hope they do because uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Is this race going to end a lap early for us? Because, well, I mean, we're going to be able to transfer, but... Yeah, they should pit. Are they going to do the Jeff Byrne exploit? That's what it seems like they're, they're trying to do. No, they just stayed out. Well, that's illegal as shit, if I've ever seen it. Are we about... Oh, I guess Harvick's for position? I got... Yeah, we just barely unlapped ourselves, so we got another... We're going to gain more spots out of this, which is what we need. Okay, um... Yeah, that should be a penalty for Harvick and anyone else. I don't understand any of that. There should be a lot more cars DNFing because of that. Because that does not make any sense. We're going to finish 8th. So we technically didn't even gain a spot. We actually lost a position because of that. So I, I don't even know what to say to that. Bobby Labonte moved on. And a lot of people are trapped a lap down. Oh, no, we're 4th. Oh, I'm even more confused. I guess they did get penalized. I, yeah, Harvick got eliminated. That's what you get for being stupid. I don't... What do I say to that? <laughs> K, absolute chaos in the first segment. Pretty much. Now he's got to get to the bottom lane, which we do pretty easily. And this is just a normal seven-lap dash. And we got to the bottom lane. We did everything we needed to. Robbie Gordon, who blocked me, is now going to try to pass me. But we're going to get the draft from Bonnie or, or from somebody to pull us. At least I hope so. Then we can try to just start... Getting bodies of the drivers one by one. Car drifting. That's that's not great. That, that's that's first lap of fresh tires. Don't want that. But okay, good. We're third. All right. All right. All right. Now we just gotta just start picking them off one by one. The inside of Newman here. We got a bit of a run there off turn two. Some of the a bit of the draft helped. And you now when he's giving me the bomb lane for once, Newman's actually you know not blocking. Yeah, he just gave me the bottom. Now it's going to be P2. Bobby Labonte's really fast in this race. I don't know why. <laughs> but, hey, I'm up for a Bobby Labonte good run any day, so uh, I'll take it. Now we just got to try to set our sights on him. Not like it really matters, because the invert's really going to be the big thing that's going to mess this all up, because it's all random. So that is pure luck. But, hey, I would like to win at least something in the All-Star race. That would be cool. I failed to hit turn three properly. I will say, this is definitely hard to win, just based on the last segment being so random. And also the tire being really extreme. I just... No. I, I, I refuse to get the lead like that. No, uh, let's try that again. I don't know how Newman's even... I, I don't even know how he got to the inside of me there. Same with Dale Jr. Now we're on the outside of this. This is not ideal. We're actually... Carrying some good speed on the straightaway. Can we actually get down low? I, oh, it, oh, and it worked. Hey. I can't believe that worked. I, I was actually able to keep my momentum and also keep up with Labani through, throughout all of that. I'm I'm baffled. I feel like Numa's going to send it here in turn three. So I'm going to really park it on the bottom here. I just have to back off the corners a lot more. With how the tire wear is like... Every corner is different, so it's hard to really gauge what to do when the tires degrade this much. But we're to the inside. Just off the throttle. Drifting. Uh, we're still not clear. 
Still not clear. Can I just make a normal pass for God's sakes? Alrighty, white flag. Not proud of how I got by Labani. I was trying so freaking hard to just keep going, but this thing just... Oh, it's... It's worse here than the actual 600. That I know. All the practicing I've done, that I know for sure. But we're going to win a segment, maybe. Oh my god, we're going 150 miles an hour and a car just would not turn. Oh, that's karma. Fine. It's, uh, one teammate couldn't win, the other one just took it from me. Fine. Karma. Whatever. I, I can't believe how bad it just drove there in the last quarter. It just, I was going like 153 and it just... Tyra is extreme. And, okay, we're third. That's actually not bad. Newman won the fan vote. Newman is very loved in this career mode. <laughs> Alright. Well, now it's just a five-lap dash. I think we typically get good starts, so we just have to go. Okay. Okay, that's what we needed. Three wide. We're going to be on the bottom lane here. The preferred lane. Also, we got fresh tires, which is also a plus. And there goes our speed. We had it. And then it just went away. <gasps> it happened again! Oh, it happened again! Oh, that's a free win! What? Say, it happened in the first segment, then it happened... It's like a song. It's just like chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then it, it happened like that. And now now we're good. That's a free all-star win. <laughs> wow. We got a 1.3 second lead. I would be amazed if we somehow just throw it out the window, but it's possible. I guess we'll wait and see. My flag's out, and Jeff Gordon's gaining, like, one-tenth a lap on me. Which is all the more tragic that he was probably faster, probably deserved to win, but got in a terrible situation with Jeff himself and Mark Martin, or Newman. I, that was just weird. What, I even did one practice race of the All-Star race, and, I mean, never really came across that. Also, holy good lord, this car has gotten bad. Jeez, it just doesn't even want to last five laps. Whatever, we did it. Million bucks. This car is just undefeated. We won it at freaking Rockingham, then we won it at Texas, and then we won it in a freaking all-star race. I Yes, I will do a burnout of some capacity. Surprised they don't have a logo for the all-star race. For this is just... I think... I don't know if that's... They might have changed that in Thunder 04. But, yeah, we'll just... That's a lazy... Not, 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 I wish it was in the pavement to get more smoke, but you know what? Sometimes that's where the cookie crumbles or the apple pie lays. I don't know, but we did it. <laughs> you see that in the background? Terry Labonte just blew up and then went below the racing surface at just the worst possible time. Look at Jeff, Jeff Gordon for his second and he plowed into his teammate. How does that happen? That really could have been a whole lot worse if that... I'm surprised it didn't. What a, what a crazy all-star race, just considering what happened. Like, usually that's never really a thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's another dub. Did I see my driver without glasses for a split second? In that, like, when he was in the... Can post that, or what if, like, zoom in on that, like, freeze frame it? I don't, I don't know if I, like, he didn't see... I, I feel like I saw something. I don't know if I saw his eyes, but interesting. We just won, we won so many times, it's just... Can't believe this has happened. Can't believe we're winning this much. Doesn't really feel right. Well, that's disappointing we don't get a... Special trophy. I'm, I'm upset by that. So, obviously, uh, Jeff Gordon's second. Poor Ryan Newman got the worst of that. Uh, finishes seventh, or no, eighth. And, uh... Probably had the car to win, same with Gord maybe, but no, we just we just got lucky enough. And uh, a lot of cars DNF, like Harvick for cheating essentially. <laughs> you can't leave it, that's the most Harvick thing to do to just try to cheat the system or just be stubborn and stay out and then just cost himself the all-star win. That's a very Harvick, th Harvick-y thing to do. So uh, yeah, some of these people just got their races ruined because of that. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I, it was just weird. Kind of funny, but weird. But, yeah, that's that's an all-star win. Kind of in an unconventional manner. I wasn't expecting to win like that, but I will take it. Yeah, we'll save this this stuff. Usually I wait till after I render it, but no, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to be absolutely rebel and do that. But, well, 
uh, let's change the paint scheme, and uh, I'm just going to do the Coke 600 right now. So, uh, yeah, this will be like its own video. But uh, for, for, uh, for now, the All-Star stuff is concluded. There's nothing much more to show. Big shout out my two three Patreon supporters today for our Champ 15, Comic Cosmic Games, Bailey Carrot, Maxi Late 1986, Jason Helmet, and my name is John for the support again. I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does me a lot. Always goes a long ways. So just thank you for the continued support. I'll see you all for the Coca Cola 600 longest race of the season, and no matter what race percentage you use. So that will be interesting in and of itself. Definitely a race where the tire wear isn't going to be as extreme as the All Star race. So that'll be, uh, I guess, not as insane, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, either way, that'll do it for me. I'll see you all next video. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.